Alrighty, yo, what is up, Poke Nation? This is day 27 in America. Hell yeah, I shot my first gun. I went to Itago Bell. You know, it's crazy out here. You know, goddamn. Uh, it is from a Gacha Smack enjoyer. Gacha Smack viewer. I am very, very interested to see what uh, sort of audience Gacha Smack has, has, has created right in part of this community. So without further ado, let's get into today's content. Say Subscribe! <laughs> Strongest take I have is Black Swan is the second most underrated character just below Robin. Gacha smack enjoyer. First of all, no, it is not below Robin because Robin is no longer underrated. I feel like as of this day and age, Robin is no longer underrated. So you can't say units that are, you know, everybody needs to be underrated, right? Uh, second of all, it kind of depends what either your Black Swan has because I can, I will keep it a buck. E0 Black Swan and E1 Black Swan is kind of like the equivalent of like an E0 Akron and an E2 Akron for, from a sustain, I'm oh sorry, from a support perspective. That E1, the 25 res down, super important. If you don't have the 25 res down, the only utility she's really offering to you, I'm talking about outside of DOT, right? Is the very small amount of defense down and this vulnerability from the ultimate. And the vulnerability only activates when it's the enemy's turn. So it's not exactly very comfy as well. Then, of course, you know, if you get the E1 Black Swan, very, very Poggy Woggies unit. Uh, if it's just an E0 Black Swan, I don't think she's underrated. I, I, I think pulling for E0 Black Swan as like a support. You know what? I would rather you pull for E0 Chiao Chiu. I think E0 Chiao Chiu as a support, as a support, is stronger than E0 Black Swan. Blood has 50 vulnerability. Just like that. You know? So, and also she generates way more stacks of air as well. So, easier to easier, I, I will go for Jiao Chiu. Uh, who is the most underrated character in Hongi Starbucks right now, actually? Let me think. The most underrated unit. I feel like it's a toss up between Boot Hill and Yuing Li. And I'm kind of leaning towards Boot Hill. I'm kind of leaning towards Boot Hill. Roughly speaking, I think Yuin Li, people know that she is like the only unit in her niche, right? Like she is the counter, she is like basically the upgraded version of Ke La La. And like, she's good for a lot of content. She's good in pure vision. She's good in a lot of things. She does big damage. There oh, okay. there's the break. Oh, wow. So now crazy. we can roll in and now we just got to worry about the dice, but we are in a much better... That damage, 358k oh into the 99k. Into and no one else in our current DPS roster really comes close to what Yuni is able to do because her kit is very, very unique. So if you want to play this kind of like counter, kind of play style, big damage, uh, you will want to pull for Yuni. Whereas if you don't like the whole counter play style, even if she can do zero cycles and do crazy damage, you're still not going to pull her, right? Because... If you don't want to play counter, just don't play counter. Whereas for Boot Hill, I think Boot Hill deserves to be the one that is the most underrated because he is inevitably getting compared to Firefly. Right? It is what it is. Both of them fill in the exact same niche of a break DPS. And unfortunately, because Firefly is completely brain dead to play, you literally press a button, you the, you press the fun button on a Firefly team, you just you just watch her just kill everything, right? Especially with Super Break and, and Rame. Uh whereas for Boot Hill, because it's like if you can already do something so easily, why would you bother picking up somebody that does the same thing, but you need way more investments? In terms of like, when do you break? What's your CP training? Are you running 4-piece Eagle? Who's the support? Can you run him without Harmony break? You, you, you can, but you can in fact run Boot Hill without Harmony MC. So like, there's there's so many things to consider. And for majority of the casual player base, it's just not worth it. And I think it is completely fair if you don't want to give a shit about Boot Hill. And in the end, just say, you know, Firefly is easy to learn. Nuclear damage, I'm going to go with Firefly. But just because Firefly is exceptionally good at super breaking, it doesn't translate into, oh, Boot Hill is dog shit. Boot Hill is ass, yo. Firefly does everything that we can do but better. There's no role. He has zero purpose. Boot Hill has zero purpose because he, he's just, it's a, it's a, re, it's a re, irrelevant unit. Then that's where I would kind of draw the line because it's not really the case. And that's what the definition of underrated is, right? 
the perceived value of a unit is so low because there's another unit that can do way better than what you can do. And I think Boot Hill falls into that camp. And frankly speaking, I was part of this camp as well up until two weeks ago where I kind of locked back in to Hongi Starbucks and I became like a, li a little bit more of a, a serious player again. That I really found out how absolutely fucking diabolical Buyo can be. Uh, very, very fun. Very, very, very satisfying as well. Especially if you guys try Buyo right now for a Ventrine. Bro can't even use his dice face because it just breaks him instantly. One month ago, I was clowning on Boot Hill, and quite recently, I have been a Boot Hill believer. If we are talking about the most optimal setup, Boot Hill is diabolically good and arguably even more flexible than Firefly because Bitch doesn't need Super Break. He, hell yeah, bro. He literally can, all he really needs, I would, I would say, is like Run me. And that third slot is a like super flexible. You can run Pella, I can run like Bronya, I can run. And then you just slam on sustain. And then he's gonna, he's gonna clap cheeks. All right, so if next, yo, if next fetch is Boot Hill comes here, um, you're welcome, right? You're welcome. So, yep. Running Boot Hill with a like quote unquote toughness breaking unit is better than running him with a sustain. He is really the all in. All in, deal as much toughness bar damage as humanly possible. And if you do that, the enemy will literally not move. Argenti, he wouldn't even cast his dice on you because he just kills the motherfucker before they even cast the dice. So running a sustain with Buyo, especially a sustain that doesn't even deal tougher damage, it is quite literally counterintuitive. If you were to run Pella here or even Bronya, it will, it will make your life easier. Assuming that you actually run him uh, without like running it down. Run him in, don't run it down, right? Yeah, if you, if you run, eventually, eventually, so, uh, little, little, that's a little bit of a nitpick. If people are thinking about running Boot Hill. And I know from this post alone, like, oh my God, look at this. Look at Boot Hill. Power crap in one patch. What a dog shit unit. So yeah, that, that's Boot Hill. Not surprised, like I mentioned. I think it's just not enough play players actually pull or rather play Boot Hill seriously. In my opinion, Boot Hill is the most underrated unit in Hongi Starbucks. Oh my god, that was a very long yet. Okay, let's kind of take a look at what we have over here. Goddamn, bro. Yo, chat, my bad. Wrong server.